in the live stream. Um, so we're going to talk about what just broke out. And if you guys come in, you guys are going to like this, I guarantee. Um, if you guys are New York Mets fans, please join the live down below the comments. And let's get into the video today. So as currently as John Heyman says, and Ken Rosenthal of Major League Baseball, those two announcing that there's a report that the New York Mets are acquiring um, Harrison Bader from the Cincinnati Reds. Watch, from my opinion, I think, my opinion is the Yankees should have got Harrison Bader before Alex Verdugo and Juan Soto because what do we know about this? Harrison Bader was a good player for the New York Yankees. And now look what's going to happen. He's going to be overtown rival with the Yankees. He's going to be, now he's going to be a baseball player for the New York Mets. This is what I don't get right now. If I knew what was going on, I'll say, I should have said this a long time ago, but Brian Cashman and Hal Stumbrenner, you guys should have signed Harrison Bader. And we should not have gotten Alex Verdugo and Juan Soto. But it's too late. You know, it's too late what's going on. Because right now, this was a big mistake. Brian Cashman and Hal Steinbrenner. Why did you guys sign Alex Verdugo and Juan Soto when Alex Verdugo is on a one-year contract with the Yankees? And you also got Juan Soto on a one-year contract. Now, let's go over to Crosstown Rivals. The New York Mets. They just got two players that used to play with the Yankees. A pitcher. Let's start with Luis Severino. He's on a one-year contract. And now, today, Harrison Bader is going on, on a one-year contract. What the heck is going on in Major League Baseball? Brian Cashman, Hal Sunbrenner, what the heck is going on? You just give up, and you guys should have signed, you know, you guys should have signed Harrison Bader, and you guys should have kept um, Luis Severino. But right now, that is too late. Because right now, I'm kind of angry at Brian Cashman and Hal Soundbiter because they didn't sign. They didn't re-sign Luis Severino, and they did not sign Harrison Bader. But right now, those two are now crosstown rivals in New York. Luis Severino... And Harrison Bader are going to be the, with the Mets on both on one-year contracts. What the heck is going on? This makes no sense at all. You know, makes no sense at all. Why? Oh, what the heck is going on with Brian Cashman and Hal Steinbrenner? Do you guys think that it's a good call? To have Alex Verdugo and Juan Soto with the Yankees. Um, do I think it's a good idea? No. It's not good because we all know what Alex Verdugo would do. He started BS with when he used to play against with the Yankees when he was with Boston. And now we have to deal with Alex Verdugo and pinstripes. And let me get, let me make one thing that's clear, and it's dumb. We lose quite a bit of players. We lost 
We just lose Aspen Foyal. We lost Kyle Higgins. Kyle. We just lost a catcher, and we lost outfielders. And now most of them, the catcher and some players, are are going to San Diego. And this is what I don't get. You just, you know, they said that they're not done making no moves. I guarantee the Yankees are not done making moves. Who do I think is going to be the next one? I think the next one is going to be, it's going to be Glaber Torres. Yes, you heard me correctly. Glaber Torres is going to be the next one. Because a lot of people are saying that Corey Seager and Corey, Corey Seager wants to be a Yankee. Do I would like to see Corey Seager as a Yankee? No. And you know what else? You know what else kind of ticked me off? What ticks me off the most is that the Toronto Blue Jays they send Isaiah Kafalafa. IKF to a two-year contract in Toronto. But was that good enough? No. So you lost quite a bit of players. Brian Cashman and Hal Stembrenner. This makes no sense at all. You know, and now you now Billy McKinney, he's another one that's gone from the Yankees. I mean, does it make sense for me? No. I'm not going to say it twice. No, I know, I know. It's time for how somebody to get rid of Brian Cashman and Aaron Boone. After the 2024 season, I want to see. I want to see Aaron Boone is be getting fired from the Yankees. And I also like to see. I also like to see Brian Cashman to get fired from Hell Stunbiner. But right now is a big mistake ever that the Yankees have done this year in 2024. Unbelievable and unreal and it's stupid. Real stupid. Brian Cashman, you dummy. Mm-hmm. <laughs>